Alright guys, what's up? Welcome to Rams TV. So as you can already imagine, somehow a new leak has come out today. And honestly guys, at this point it's getting ridiculous how a new leak seems to come out literally every single day. And the reason why I'm saying that is because for today I actually had another type of video planned that wasn't a leak or anything. Yet 10 minutes before I started filming that, I checked my Twitter and there has been a new leak. And because I am a news slash leaks covering channel for Mortal Kombat 11 and anything other room studios I have to cover it now guys I don't know like at this point like I said a leak comes out every day I don't know what's real I don't know what's fake I just cover these leaks please guys don't think I ever like come up with them or, or agree with them honestly take every leak I've ever talked about with a grain of salt because that's really all it is just a supposed leak like no one knows if it's true it's never been confirmed and just at this point guys, I just find it so dumb how a new leak comes out every day. I don't know if people are bored because of Corona and they're coming up with leaks or or I just, I don't know what's going on guys. But anyways, for today we have a new leak talking about Injustice 3 and a Combat Pack 3 for MK11. And like many other leaks before this one, it kind of seems legit. So anyways, enough talking, let's just get right into it. So go ahead and check that out. Now it is pretty long, I will read it though and try to explain everything as I read it, so let's go ahead and get started. So it starts by saying, WB will drop MK11 after its final batch of DLC in exchange for continued support of two new games. Now what that means is that after the next DLC comes from Mortal Kombat 11, the game is done, that's it, there's nothing that's going to be added onto it, according to this person. Now they continue to say, note, Plans were set before AT&T's decision. Not sure if things are prone to change, nothing has been cancelled yet. So for those of you that don't know, a, uh, AT&T, or, or I, don't know, I don't know what's happening, but WB Games is being sold. Now what does that mean? It means that whoever is in charge of everything Mortal Kombat and Injustice is no longer going to be in charge of that since it's literally being sold to someone else. Now that could affect things, but as of now nothing has happened yet. So let's just wait and see what happens. Then he goes on to say Injustice 3, slated for 2022 on next gen. So supposedly the new release date for Injustice 3 is 2022 and it will come out on the next generation consoles aka PS5 and Xbox Series X. Now it says, and this is where it gets crazy, The Grid Battle Royale. We'll be able to play as WB properties, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Mortal Kombat, DC, etc. Characters are released through a battle pass system. Ed Boon is the lead on this project. I'm not even gonna try to explain what that means because I have no like Harry Potter. What, what, I, I'm just gonna skip that one. Anyways, this is what we really came for. Injustice 3 has create a fighter, but abilities are limited. Definitely, uh, uh, that's understandable. Combo variations are unique to the custom character with a set of six to choose from. And that is a really smart approach to it, in my opinion. Then it says. System was originally conceived for Mortal Kombat 11. The crypt guy, or girl, in this case guy, was, was meant to be a template for the player to modify, fight as, and explore the crypt. Now what that's saying is that the crypt guy from Mortal Kombat 11 was supposed to be our template for our creative fighter character. So he was going to be like the base model for our creative fighter. Now that would have definitely been cool, but apparently they didn't, they just decided not to do that and here's why. It says, the feature was dropped before development and recycled for Injustice 3, so they're going to save that for Injustice 3, which is why they didn't do it for Mortal Kombat 11. As your custom hero or villain explores Arkham Asylum, Themyscira, and the Hall of Justice, environments are filled with puzzles, fighters, and NPCs to interact with. Definitely seems like some open world type game. Definitely sounds cool though, I like the idea. Now, what you guys really, really came for. The final batch of Mortal Kombat 11 DLC fighters before Injustice 3 and Grid to be announced are Melina, Sector, Michael Myers, Smoke, Takeda, Harley Quinn, and two that we don't know yet. So that definitely seems... I, I, like Harley Quinn? That's the one part that makes me not believe this, but like why would they even mention that? Like uh, we already know we have a Harley Quinn skin for Cassie Cage, and whoever made this leak also knows that, right? So why would they even try lying about that? Like, that just seems dumb at that point. So I don't know if it's real, I don't know if it's fake, I, I don't know. Plus 18 skins. <laughs> now, this is crazy. Additional skins from MK11 Aftermath will roll out along with updates to the game. Updates will include free content to non-Aftermath players. 
Please note, I do not know the details of the skins, only the names of their packs and characters in it. Now, these are n upcoming skin packs, supposedly, and it even says every character is for, and honestly, I if this is true, I'm really hyped for that, not gonna lie. It says, Aftermath Skin Packs. Combat Begins, that is the name of the skin pack. Liu Kang, Raiden, and Shang Tsung will get skins in that pack. The next pack is called Cons and Conquerors. Obviously, uh, Kodo Khan, Shao Kahn, and Katana will get new skins in that pack. The next pack is called Lights, Camera, 90s. In this pack, the Collector, Johnny Cage, and Fujin will get new skins. And then additional skins for Katana, Sendai, and Fujin will also come out. Now guys, that is the leak. And honestly, like I said, just like many other leaks, it does seem believable. Now, obviously, I'm not saying it's real. I'm not saying it's fake. It could be real, could be fake, could have some parts that are real, some parts that aren't. Guys, I don't know anymore. I am just literally, I've had it up to here with leaks, guys. Every single day a new leak comes out. I'm sure tomorrow a new leak will come out. I don't know how. But anyway, guys, please let me know your opinions on all this in the comment section down below. Other than that, be sure to stay subscribed for more videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and peace.